there! February isn't usually seen as a great month for gaming releases, yet this February may be the greatest month in video game history. It's so packed with new games that many have been delayed to avoid this month in particular. As a tradition, if you don't have money to spend this month, I found two free games, both with the potential to take over the world. So let's crack on. First we have Horizon Forbidden West on the PlayStation 4 and 5. Aloy returns and the story picks up after the events of Zero Dawn back in 2017. Aloy is tasked with finding the cause of a mysterious plague ravishing the lands. As the name suggests, Forbidden West takes us to the California side of the old US, and along the way Aloy will face off with other tribes and more amazing mechanical animals than ever before. We're gonna fight a mammoth, and is that a snake? I can't wait for that fight. Forbidden West's map is confirmed to be larger than the previous game, and more dense with things to do than ever before. We have new travelling mechanics like gliding and swimming, and improved free climbing which will let us get in places we never could before. Oh and have you seen the Valor Surge? This may be the most epic thing you'll see today. Horizon Forbidden West drops on Friday February 18th on PS4 and PS5. Releasing on February 4th is another sequel to a brilliant game, Dying Light 2 Stay Human. Let's try to sum this up in one sentence. An action adventure, survival horror, post-apocalyptic first-person parkour simulator. Hmm. Just the free running part alone has over 3,000 different animations. Dying Light is all about risk-reward, as venturing out at night time is far more dangerous than the day, as some enemies can only be found during moonlight hours. And typically that's when the best loot is on offer too. That loot and scavenging for crafting materials help us evolve our weapons. The in-game map is broken into seven sections, each controlled by a different faction, and we must decide if we fight them or work with them. This leads to some difficult decisions as your actions affect everyone, leaving devastation behind you. Helping one faction could actually hurt another faction. Dying Light 2 can be played alone, but I highly recommend trying 4-player co-op. It's a bloodbath. Dying Light 2 Stay Human releases on February 4th on PlayStation, Xbox, PC and Switch. Arguably the biggest game to release in 2022 is Elden Ring, the first Soulsborne game to be an open world. I'm sure you know someone who is obsessed with From Software games and their back catalogue including Sekiro, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, so many great games one after the other, all of which are brutal and could never be classed as casual. That said, the previews for Elden Ring tell us that this game is more accessible to new players than ever before, but at its core it doesn't change. Learn from your mistakes is the key to Elden Ring. Knowledge of the landscape of each encounter, and understanding the weapons and tools at your disposal. Game of Thrones writer George R. R. Martin is on board to bring the character design to life, as only he can. So if you like managing stamina and magic with over 100 skills to unlock and master with countless hours of potential gameplay, you should try Elden Ring. Release on PlayStation, Xbox and PC on February 25th. Oh, and this is another game that supports 4-player cooperative shenanigans. Have you heard of Sifu? A beat-em-up like no other. The premise sees a kung fu student sent on a revenge mission after his family is brutally slain. Off we go with the only weapons, our bare hands and our kung fu knowledge. We take down an entire criminal syndicate. We have over 150 moves to combo together as we break the guards of enemies and then quickly take them out. But then this will happen. At some point we are going to be overwhelmed and fall in battle. Luckily we have a magic talisman that revives us. It also teaches us a little more kung fu, which is great, but sadly it ages us too. This means our revenge attempt will be completed in one day and also one lifetime. If we age too much, the talisman can't revive us anymore and we rest in peace. I'm super intrigued by Sifu, which releases on February 8th on PS4, PS5 and PC. Let's move on to Destiny 2. If you've been living under a rock, you may not know that Destiny 2, at its base at least, is a free to play game, which you can grab right now. Once you're addicted, the expansions are paid content like the upcoming Witch Queen DLC. Bungie haven't told us a great deal about this just yet, but we do know the new content includes a new raid, a reworking to the Void classes, and a new weapon type, the Glaive. This is Destiny's first ever first person melee weapon. The update will also bring a new branch to the story, as well as quality of life changes and an updated weapon crafting system too. There is still a great deal to learn about the new expansion before its release on Tuesday the 22nd of February, and remember the base game is free if you ever feel the urge to get into Destiny yourself. 
speaking of free stuff, let's do that now. Check out this. Epic Games and Iron Galaxy have teamed up to create Rumbleverse, a free to play 40 player battle royale with a difference. There isn't any guns and instead WWE style grapples are needed to defeat your foes in an open city where anything can be climbed and cars are trampolines. The art style is reminiscent of Fortnite which Epic is hoping will attract that audience but it's the customization which looks the most intriguing. It's substantial with countless elements to add to your character to be unique. This has a lot of potential. If the fighting feels fair and fun and the battle royale elements don't feel forced, I have high hopes for Rumbleverse, which is set to release for free on February 15th unless issues arise in the final steps of testing. Those who want to play early, you'll need to pay for that, but don't worry, I've paid for it so you don't have to, and I'll tell you all about the game before it releases. Rumbleverse is here on PlayStation, Xbox, and on Epic Store for PC players. How do you feel about a free-to-play melee battle royale? I'd love to know. Until then, I'll see you on the 15th. Oh, and you should know that PS Plus and Game Pass isn't needed to play free-to-play games. If that doesn't float your boat, I have another free game which is out right now. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. It suddenly released without any fanfare. A card collecting game in which you battle other players online. I'm going to struggle to explain this one as I'm not a digital card battling game connoisseur, but I know this will be floating someone's boat. Konami have confirmed tutorials in-game will turn the most newbie guy, like me, into a pro. So if you're on console, PC or mobile phone, you can try it for free right now. Get your Yu-Gi-Oh! on. But always remember, free-to-play games want your money in some way, so be aware and you'll be okay. Back to full priced games now. Evil Dead The Game. If you're a fan of games like Friday the 13th, Predator Hunting Grounds or Dead by Daylight, you'll understand the basic premise here. Asymmetrical PvP with a big bad guy villain taking down as many of the good guys in a team as possible. And all those people are taken from the movies. Evil Dead The Game also includes side missions and cooperative missions with friends. Some are completely solo, adding a cinematic feel like the films. It's the end of January when I'm recording this right Right now and we are still waiting for more information. All we know is Evil Dead the game is coming sometime in February on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch and PC. Just enough time to watch the movies again if you can't remember them. For those who want an interactive story, you should consider Life is Strange Remastered Collection. Back in 2018, when episodic adventures took over the world, Life is Strange was mind-blowing. A detailed story with branching options in conversations which affect the direction of the overall story. There was also a really cool rewind mechanic where if you didn't like what happened in front of you, you could go back a few seconds and change things. Life is Strange taught me one important life lesson. Something positive in the short term can lead to something absolutely terrible in the future. If you missed this story five years ago, I highly recommend living through it now. And finally, I couldn't decide between Oli Oli World and King of Fighters 15, so here's both. Oli Oli World is a 2D skateboarding game which has evolved into an RPG. The basics still remain though, keeping a combo going just like Tony Hawk. And King of Fighters is the return of a classic one-on-one -on -one fighter. Before Mortal Kombat and Injustice were a thing, King of Fighters was the main opposition to Street Fighter. The parry system was its way to stand out back then and it's back again in 15. So there we have it, 10 games that you should be playing if you can afford to and have more than 24 hours in your day. Thanks for staying until the end. If you are still here, let me know what the first game you ever played was. This may show how old you are. I'm Adam, you're awesome. I'll see you next time.